Chapter 148 Death Questioner Maharaj, what about death? Maharaj, who is dying? Death for whom? Death is an illusion. Why talk about death? Better to talk about who you are. That is far more important. Find out now, while you still have the opportunity. Ask yourself, who am I? The concept of death creeps slowly towards you, and then one day, willingly or unwillingly, you will have to leave this body. Open fact. The body has a time limit, but you are not the body. You are unborn. Every day we hear of people dying. Wake up. You have a golden opportunity to make sure that when you leave the body, it will be a very happy time. Questioner. You mentioned a few days ago how Bausaheb Maharaj was clapping his hands with great happiness during his last moments. Maharaj. Who is dying? Who is living? Know thyself. I am refreshing your memory. This fear of death came from your identification with the body. From the very beginning, we have been conditioned into believing that we are born and that we are going to die, and we have accepted this information blindly as fact. We have become so strongly attached to the body that now we are afraid to let it go. We find it very difficult to break free. Many people claim to have spiritual knowledge. You say, I am not the body, I am Brahman, I am Atman. But when something unexpected happens, like an accident or illness, or you are suffering on your deathbed, all these truths vanish as if they were mere affirmations. And all you can do is tremble full of fear. I'm speaking generally here. This means that the conviction that I am not the body has not taken root. It is not real conviction. And your spiritual knowledge is not real self-knowledge. Somewhere in the foundations there is a crack. Questioner. So what can I do to ensure that there are no cracks? Maharaj, for that, you have the master key. Keep using the Nam Mantra. It is good insurance. If you want to know yourself perfectly, the process of Nam Mantra is most important. This mantra I have given you started from Datatria. It has a 1,000 year history. It is more than words. It has science behind it and a long history. Humanity has a lot of knowledge about the Brahman, Atman, Paramatman, but this is all merely dry knowledge for discussion and entertainment. You see, body-based knowledge is here. Master points to the body. Unless body-based knowledge dissolves, then whatever is built on top of it will collapse. Questioner. Like building castles in the sand, Maharaj. Those people who say, I have knowledge without the Nam Mantra, well, that's okay, but it is still only acting as a painkiller, maybe offering some temporary relief. There is a lot of milk knowledge around. But if you add just one pinch of salt, then all that milk will be spoiled. This means that if we have one small doubt, this little doubt will produce a little tremor, then a crack which will gradually be followed by an earthquake, and then it is only a matter of time before the whole building collapses. If we recite the Nam Mantra, it will give you a very good solid base, a very good start. Our foundation will be so firm, so solid, that nothing will affect or penetrate it. 
100% guaranteed. Questioner. So meditation is the prescribed medication for us all. Maharaj, I have told you, meditation on the Nam Mantra is the antivirus for chronic illusion. You need the mantra to dissolve all the body knowledge, to clean and empty your hard drive of illusion. As well as cleaning everything out, the mantra will regenerate your power by reminding you of your reality. I am Brahman, Brahman I am. Every moment of your life is very precious, never to be repeated. Now is the time to discover whether your foundations are solid or not. See, examine, find out. Are there lingering doubts? Do self-inquiry now. If you delay and leave it till the last moment, it will be too late. This is a long dream, a long movie. You are the producer, the director, the architect of your own life. It is up to you to determine the last act in your movie. Questioner. What you're saying, Maharaj, is that it is entirely up to us as to how the end is going to happen, how the final scenario is going to play out. We can either blissfully sail into the blue yonder or with trepidation let the hungry grim reaper devour us. If we want a smooth exit, we need to seriously confront ourselves starting now and find out whether our knowledge goes deeper than skin deep. Maharaj, it is entirely up to you. Self-knowledge has to be pragmatic so that when the time comes to leave the body, you will be fearless. There must not be any remaining attachment to distract you. I am hammering this again and again. You are not the body. You were not the body. You will not remain the body. Open fact. Therefore, you are to accept this truth. If you are not the body, what are you? You are unborn. Find out for yourself and then you will know, really know, that you are nothing to do with the body. Use discrimination. Take a look. Contemplate. Think seriously on your existence. Your existence does not know itself. I am talking about that. I am placing before you a clear picture of ultimate truth using short words, direct words. There are no in-betweens. In order to convince people, I have to use phrases. Without these, how can you be convinced? No one is thinking. Everyone is just accepting everything blindly. Find out your weaknesses. Know your weaknesses better than anyone. Find out if you are on shaky ground. Maybe you've read a large number of spiritual books. Maybe you have faith, a cherished belief, and you think that you are prepared. That's good. But be certain. Be sure. Questioner. What you're saying is that we should test ourselves, make sure that we have our feet firmly planted in reality. Maharaj, the masters in our lineage were all very practical in their approach. Ask yourself four questions. Am I totally fearless? Am I totally peaceful? Do I have complete happiness? Am I tension free? If the answers to these questions come back a no, then it seems that all your efforts, all your knowledge has been in vain and for nothing. The currency you were buying has turned out to be dummies, fake notes, fake currency, master chuckles. Ask yourself, where do I stand before it is too late? Better to face these illusory ghosts now than wait till our bodies are nearing the end. At that time you will be trembling with fear, going, ooh, ooh. there will be no peace. 
Only fear? Questioner. Yes, I understand. Real spiritual knowledge, self-knowledge, needs to be pragmatic. It has to be implemented into daily life. If it remains merely theoretical, intellectual knowledge, as you say, then it is basically useless. Maharaj, you know that there is no birth and death. You know that you are unborn. When you know the reality, you will see that this overwhelming fear was baseless. That fear that followed you around and haunted you from birth was a big illusion. Now the balloon has burst. You have burst the balloon. Questioner. We discover that all our fears were rooted in the greater fear of death and that fear of death is just a body concept, body knowledge and therefore baseless hot air. I don't know why I'm laughing, but it turns out that all our heavy baggage of dread and trepidation surrounding mortality, which we carried around from decade to decade, was completely unnecessary. What a waste. We, or I, expended all this energy on keeping at bay a gigantic monster. And this beast, this monster, never existed in the first place. Oh well, it's gone now. The illusion is being dissolved. Better now than not at all. Maharaj, self-inquiry leads to self-knowledge and self-realisation. Real self-knowledge is so very important, for without it, the end will be very painful. Without mercy, ask yourself this, why do I fear death? Unless you know the reality, this fear is murmuring. The fear is multiplying. The fearless state at the time of death is real knowledge, pragmatic knowledge, ultimate truth. The master smiles warmly. Be alert and prepare for that happy and peaceful moment, which is the goal of the serious seeker. Questioner. The great Mahasamadhi. Thank you, Maharaj.